Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today we're going to show you how to properly space your hydroponic vegetables. Uh, of course, you can see behind me, this is the improper way to space your plants. These are tomato plants, and I just didn't think they'd get so big so fast, and I didn't plan for it. So, but we'll show you how to do it properly. If you like my video, give me a like. If you like any of the tools and equipment that I use, they're all in the description below. Lots more information down there. So let's get into it. All right, here's some germinating seeds. These are lettuce. And so your first step is you wanna germinate the plants separate, right? So these little suckers are just germinating. Uh, I'll probably give them a few more days until they start really getting big before I move them from there. But from there, you want to move them directly to the spacing that you want permanently. Like over here, see this beautiful lettuce? Well. I used to space them closer and then incrementally move them apart, but the major problem with that is that eventually the roots become entangled, uh, like this. You can see the roots are tangled, so as you can see these plants are too close together. This is mustard. I thought mustard would be a good plant to grow, but I didn't realize how big that got. And so I just like, I'm kind of learning that not only do you have to worry about plant spacing, but you also have to worry about how tall they get, just like down here. So of course, tomatoes inside was like a ridiculous idea. These are cherry tomatoes too. So these can grow indeterminate height. And I didn't take account for that. So I was like, well, I do have a station over here where I could grow other plants, but I was going to incrementally move them over there. But eventually, once again, the roots got entangled. As you can see under here, both of the plant's roots are now entangled and you will easily break and damage roots trying to move them from one container to the other. So my advice from you is go from seed to the spacing. Now this spacing uh, is about six inches apart. I put them a little bit closer than six inches because you know I plan on harvesting them before they get to full size because I, I like more tender lettuce and the bigger you get, the less tender they are. Um, then you have spinach here and I think this one is cabbage these are cabbage so I'm trying smaller plants here is another good method of good plant spacing now as you can see this one this um, kale plant over here this is blue curled Scott um, I did it did fall over because of just how tall it got and how big it got but it's still growing which is a good thing and so it's kind of been curling back the other way um, for example, uh, that's why I bought these these net pots. Ugh. Come on out. All right, so these net pots are four inch net pots, where this one right here is just a two inch net pot and it wasn't able to hold up. Here is a, here's a two inch net pot. You see the difference. So can you imagine this giant plant is the base of it's that big and you can kind of see it in there if you can't even see it it's gone you can see a little bit of it in there but uh from now on when i grow larger plants i'm gonna use the four inch net pots um but these are, are spaced about one foot apart and then i you see i even had to skip a space I, there was a plant here but it was crowding it was too crowded so i had to remove it and eat it it was delicious and then this was is uh, red Russian kale, and over here in the corner is uh, another kale plant. But I just I eat the plants. They kind of coexist because I eat the plants that are over here, the leaves that are over here, and then let it grow that way. But I'm just letting it do its own thing. All everything's delicious and tasty. Um, this one continues to grow. I peel off a leaf every day for my kale sandwich in which I'm making another video where I show you how I lost 12 pounds in less than a month while doing eating these hydroponic vegetables. So most of the information you need is gonna be on the back of your seed packet and it's gonna tell you how far apart you need to keep your plants. So step one, you germinate your plants. Step two, you place them as far apart as you want them to. Remember with leafy greens, you don't have to give them the full spacing recommended because you could harvest the leaves whenever you want. So if your plant gets too big and you just want to eat a couple leaves, you can always just eat a couple leaves. Um, fruiting plants may be a different story, 
like pepper plants and stuff like that. I'm still trying to master tomatoes, but uh, that's another failed attempt. I probably have to cut that out. So space your plants and not only make sure you keep them far apart, but also re recognize how tall they're going to get. Like this is a perfect setup for lettuce and cabbage and spinach and small lower plants than that, but it's not good for broccoli, cauliflower, tomatoes, peppers or anything like that. I would have to modify the setup if I was going to grow vegetables like that. But however, I can grow them over here as you can see. So you can see I can grow larger plants over here. So it's, it's all about how you modify your system. And it, you can, this, uh, with the cool thing about hydroponics is that you can make it any way you want. There's no rules. There's only a few things that you need to do to kind of you know, follow the spirit of hydroponics and how, how it works. And once you understand the fundamentals of how water interacts and air and nutrients interact with the plant, then you could pretty much do whatever you want to make your system. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to space your plants properly and what kind of system you should new, to use. If, don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.